I want to show you my digital sticker template file that is for Affinity Designer that will make creating digital sticker sheets a breeze. So let's start out by looking at how we can work with the template to fill it. So I'm going to show you three different things. I'm going to show you just filling with a color as well as filling with a gradient and also filling with a pattern that you get from an image. So let's look at first just a basic color. So anything that's gray or black is meant to be fillable. Um, you obviously can fill the white if you would like to as well, but generally speaking, I've designed that so that anything black or gray is something that you can fill and the white is for people to write on in their digital sticker planners, or sorry, their digital planners. So I'm clicking on a gray area and I can just go up to the fill um, and just pick whatever color I want and change it to that color and that one's done. And I can also select multiple. So if I want to, if I have a palette that I'm working on, I can click this gray one and you need to make sure that you pick actually the gray, not the white inside. Um, there we go. And I can do this one and this one and I'm going to go over to the color here. Here's the last color that I used and just pick it. And now those ones are all colored. So I've got one of each. And for the most part, there's four of each type of sticker design. There's a couple places where there's only two or three, maybe um, of each sticker, but uh, you can actually easily copy and paste and create your own sticker sheets out of these using the ones that you want. And I'll show you that at the end of this video. All right, so that's filling with just a solid color. Um, let's take a look at filling with a pattern. So let's do the same thing. Let's click on one of each of these and I'm going to hold shift as I click on each of the gray or black areas. And actually let's, I'm going to re-click that to erase that selection. I need the black, not the white and the black here. Now to fill these, I'm going to go to the fill tool over here, which is the little wheel with the arrow coming out of it. And up here, I want to work on the fill and on the type, I'm going to go down to bitmap. And now I'm just going to scroll to my downloads and I've got a few things that I've downloaded. So I've got this uh, rose quartz image that I got from Pexels and it's filled all of them at once. Now, the only thing about bulk filling like this is you get these handles once you have filled with a pattern that will allow you to do things like rotate and scale in the size of the image in and out. So um, you're gonna be actually affecting all of them at once. And if you're okay with that, this is a very fast way to fill with a pattern. And generally speaking, if you have a pattern that's uh, a repeating pattern, that's not really going to be an issue because that will easily get everything looking the same, the same size rather than having to scale things individually. However, with a texture such as this, you may want to um, be able to do these one by one. So that choice is up to you, but I just want to show you how quick and fast it can be to fill all these. All right, so the last thing I want to look at in terms of filling is a gradient. And I'm going to let this, there we go. It, uh, it zoomed in, so it was a little fuzzy at first. So let's take a look at this paper clip. Now this paper clip is um, actually just a stroke. It is not something that you can fill. Um, if you try to, you're going to get the interior kind of partially filled in where it should be transparent. So we really just want to work on the stroke on this one. So I'm going to go up to the stroke color here. And the nice thing about Affinity Designer is in the swatches menu here, there's a whole drop down of all sorts of menus. And one of them is actually Pantone Metallics. So let's take a look at one of these golden colors. We'll make our paper clip kind of golden. And then we're going to switch over to the gradient tab. And then you can just start messing with uh, the, the features there. And, you know, something like that would be okay. Um, you can also uh, switch where the midpoint is and just kind of play around and see what different things do. And, um, you can change the position of it. 
Um, you can also change it to a radial type of um, gradient, which will make it kind of go out from the center instead. And let's lost my, uh, there we go. That kind of doesn't look too bad. All right, so that's how you can fill um, the paper clips. Uh, that is one of the few ones that actually you have to fill on the stroke. Almost everything else you're going to be filling with the fill. So we've got these flags here, and uh, we can, I think it would be fun. There's some pretty metallics in the Pantones, actually. And some of these blues are really nice. So you can just change that. You can also fill that with a pattern. So we could go back to the fill tool and go to uh, fill and type, so we need to select it first, uh, bitmap. And let's do a different image here. And so that fills our flag with a, a different pattern. All right, so that is how you can fill. Um, let's take a look at how you can create your own custom sticker sheets out of this. So in this template pack, you are going to get seven sheets with uh, different types of designs and they're set up so that there are multiples of each one so that you can create from a palette or a pattern collection. However, um, if you want to create your own custom file sheets, all you need to do is go to file new. And you can choose whatever size you want. All of these are designed on A4 and using 144 DPI because these are for screens. We don't need to have a high resolution. And we're gonna go create. And now I've got a new file. And so I can go through any of my sticker sheets now and just drag over, sorry, with the move tool on, I can drag over whichever ones I want and just control C to copy. You can also go edit, copy and go to my new file and just paste it. And then I can, from there, make more copies and I can actually just keep pasting more. It'll paste it right on top and paste another copy. And let's just say I wanna make three. Now, all of these have been ungrouped in a way that you can easily just click on the areas to fill. So if you're gonna do any sort of alignment with the alignment features in Designer, you're gonna to want to group everything. Otherwise, parts of it will align and other parts won't, and you're, it's gonna mess it up. So if you did want to align, you'd want to group everything together um, before aligning. And I do have a complete little mini course on creating digital stickers with Affinity Designer. So if you wanna learn more about how to do all that, uh, go ahead and take that course. It's absolutely free. Details are in the description of this video. So you could go back through any of these files, um, have them all open and d pick which ones you want to have on your layout. And I can even grab all four of these, copy them, and move over to my new document, paste them, and they actually are going to paste right into the same position they were on the last um, document. Um, but you can go ahead and move them around and arrange them how you want. So you can create your own uh, templates from the assets in the other files. So if you want to use some of them, but not all of them, or if you want to arrange them differently, uh, you can go ahead and do that. And if you want to add to them, um, go ahead and take my sticker course so you can find out how you can create uh, these sorts of things all on your own. So I hope that you will find this useful in speeding up your digital sticker design flow.